You may wonder why you do your affirmations and you picture what you want and yet you don't see the results. But the reason is you only do it a certain amount of time each day. 99.9% .9 of your day is probably filled with the same thoughts that you have always thought, the same biases that you have carried within you. It takes a long transformation and a profound transformation to change the resonant frequency of your thoughts and of your heart. The practice is important and it's crucial, but I feel a real transformation comes from a divine experience, an experience of God, an experience of grace, something that can be cultivated in meditation. The practice of saying mantras um, imagining the desired state and living from the end state is I feel the slow road but I think it's a crucial step nonetheless uh, it's the step that I'm at personally I do experience divine grace I do meditate daily and I have for 10 years and it has transformed me immensely. If you knew me 10 years ago, you would know that's true. However, I still focus on these thoughts. I still produce these images and feel the feelings and do the practices that teachers would have you do if you're trying to learn hashtag manifestation. What's my point? Most but the reason we feel disappointed that we're not seeing it, that we're doing the work, yet we're not getting the reward, is that I feel 99.9% .9 of our thoughts and our time is spent in an old state that we have not repaired. And that's why I am such a proponent of shadow work, is that we pull up the shadow and we look at it. And in looking at it, we transform it. If it's in the shadow and it's behind us, it's running the show and it's calling the shots because we're not aware of it. We're not able to uh, inject our say. We're not able to use our opinion against it and say, hey, that's not what I want. But when we bring it into the light and when we look at it, then we're able to combine consciousness and unconsciousness. And in doing that, both are changed. The unconscious content that was driving us is changed and our consciousness becomes changed. We find a new attitude. We see, oh, this is a new piece of information. This changes the way I see the world. And in doing that repeatedly over time, the overall situation is changed. But if let's say we just do it that one time, from that day forward, we pull up a content and we see it and we understand it. we form a new attitude. From that day forward, we are changed, even if it's only a small amount. We're changed by that specific thing that is our specific medicine. That content to anyone else would not have the meaning that it does for us individually. That's why shadow work is so important and it provides its own next step. If you ever wonder what the next step is, it's provided for you because the contents are aggravated, they're constellated, and they present themselves to you as an irritation, you know, as a dream or something that's bothering you. And that's how in shadow work, we always know what the next step is. We always know um, how to continue moving forward, even though typically it's the difficult thing and it's the thing that we don't want to look at specifically. So my point in all this long ramble is when we feel we're not getting the results we want from our efforts, our manifestation, our thoughts and desires, we have to remind ourselves that 99% of, of what we're sending out into the world and getting reflected back at us is unconscious. And that's why the work of cult of bringing light to un the unconscious is so crucial.
Thanks.